Welcome to a review of fractions. So we're just going to go through all the stuff about fractions that you really need to make sure you really understand before you go into algebra. Now in my algebra class, I do not shy away from fractions. We are going to be doing them all the time. So let's just get some of the basics out of the way. I often get asked, how do I know if it's a fraction or if it's a division? And the answer is yes, it's both. It's always both. All fractions are divisions. It's just that most fractions don't divide out evenly. So if we had four halves, we would just do four divided by two and get to two. But four fifths doesn't divide out evenly, and so we tend to think of it as a fraction. But really, it's the same thing. Okay, so let's look at some properties. And I've written these out in formal terms. You're going to see more and more formal definitions as we go along. You're looking for patterns when you see these. Um, I will always explain them, but the more you get exposed to them, the better off you're going to be. Now, this is A over A. This means A divided by A. And if you think about it, any number, no matter what it is, divided by itself is 1, always. So it doesn't really matter what these numbers are. If you have a over a, it's one, period, okay? Now, if you have zero over anything, it's zero. Zero divided by anything is zero. Zero divided by four is zero. Zero divided by 400 is zero, always. This is saying a over one is a. Now, this is, this is actually pretty important for us later, but th what this is saying is a number divided by one is always itself. Now, the way we end up using this a lot later is we will have a number and we'll put it over one. So we'll work use this in reverse a whole lot. We'll be seeing that, don't worry about that entirely yet. Here's the one that messes people up. A divided by zero is undefined. If you have a zero in the denominator, it does not work. Um, think of this as saying, okay, if I have four pencils and I need to divide it into two groups, there's going to be two pencils per group. Now imagine this, if I had four pencils and I want to divide it into zero groups, there's no way to do that. I can't just make them vanish. It does not make sense. It's undefined. Now some people will remember it as under the line, undefined. Okay, I tend to think of this as a ball and this is a person trying to balance on top of it and if you're like me, you're going to fall over and that's a problem. But here, if this is me, I can hold a ball over my head and it's perfectly okay. Now, the other thing you can do, if you remember that there could be a problem, but you can't remember which is which, you are allowed a calculator in this class. If you enter zero divided by any number, let's, we've been using four, so let's do four. You, it tells you it's zero. But if I reverse that and I do zero divided by, not zero divided by four, four divided by zero, it tells me to divide by zero error. All your calculators are going to give you some kind of error if you divide by zero. It's going to say domain error something. Your calculator can help you remember which way is which, but only if you remember to check your calculator. Okay? Fractions that represent the same portion of a whole are called equivalent fractions. Now this is one of the most basic rules for fractions and it works in both directions. Not every rule in math works in both directions, but this one does. If you have a general fraction, A over B, we are allowed to multiply that fraction by C over C, okay? Now this is just saying it's the same value on the top and the bottom. And what we talked about earlier is if you have the same on the top and the bottom, that's one. So really we're saying right here that you can multiply this fraction by one and it's the same thing. And if you think about what you know about multiplying by one, it's pretty obvious. So we end up multiplying the top and the bottom by the fraction by the same value. Now, when I say this works in reverse, this means that I could start off with something like this and then essentially divide the C out because it's both of these are going to be divisible by C. And then I can go back to here. We're going to get a lot of practice with this working in both directions. So don't worry about that too much yet if it's not making sense. All right, we're going to continue in the next video, part two.